G'day guys, how are you? Now last night, a bit of an issue, um, I installed the Compass Manager and I, I can tell from some people that already know YouTube are probably thinking, oh yeah, here we go, which yes, here we go. Uh, I installed it for a few effects and uh, they were cool, yeah, you know, the wobbly screen and the, oh sorry, windows and, you know, the fire close up effect and all that and the cubes and desktops like a cube and you can switch workplaces and not to mention what places you could have back and um, after a while playing with it I thought to myself mm, you know what I, I think I like the standard just a kind of standard window uh, sorry the standards kind of theme so I um, <laughs> I went to Compass and um, I pressed reset just reset to default I pressed that while the desktop disappeared I thought, oh, maybe this is just some sort of setting, so I turned the computer, turned it back on, and sure enough, there's just this desktop. Um, so I opened up Terminal, and um, <coughs> I I typed in the command, which allows me to reset the icons back to default. I did that, and great, everything's back, fantastic, and I um, did the reset compass command, and everything was back A-OK. -okay. The icons on the side here, they were back to default, but that doesn't matter, I have my desktop back. Anyway, so then I opened up Terminal, and um, I typed in something like sudo uh, app-get auto-remove, and I wrote the compass, the, the same command that you use to install the compass manager, I used it to uninstall the compass manager. I did that, and press enter, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm reading the commands as it's doing it down, and it was saying things like removing Facebook accounts, and I thought, oh, compass must have some sort of Facebook accounts built into it. And um, so it was there, and then all of a sudden, like this part up here, this uh, this icon here, it was just a question mark. I thought, fuck, here we go. <clears throat> so then I typed into the, once it finished, I typed into the command unity dash dash version, and it said this unity is not installed. <laughs> and um, so then I turned the computer, turned it back on, and yeah, sure enough, unity is not installed. So then I used the control alt and F1 and it brings up like that kind of like DOS kind of thing and um, <coughs> so then I typed in you know sudo app dash get uh, what is it uh, install Ubuntu dash desktop to install the desktop back and then I installed it back and then I installed Unity because I had removed it and I didn't even mean it but it removed and but like even after like doing those commands it, it still didn't like the desktop was still not the same it apparently had reset it back to default but even after doing those commands and resetting it back to uh, the default after you compass had fucked up you could say uh, it still it still wasn't the same oh I got a message on Facebook one minute it still wasn't the same you know so who is this alright it still wasn't the same so I had to reinstall the desktop uh, obviously I got the icons back and I was able to copy some of my data across which was a nightmare so I finished restoring the data and uh, here we go so I guess do not use compass in like I liked it and look honestly if I didn't press it like it must have been like a glitch or something when I press reset to defaults because you would think reset to defaults would take it back to the, the options that you've clicked it would just unclick them and re-click the ones automatically that were sort of overlapped is that if that makes kind of sense Anyway, so that's my experience. So uh, let me know if you've had any experiences with Compares where it's just totally screwed you over like me. And um, don't forget to call rate and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.